esports we saw a launch in korea and brazil we already have a korean or uh, pardon me a brazilian champion crowned on twitch rivals so i think uh emily and tyler uh emily let's start with you on this i these are two regions that are really crucial to the success of valorant and i think so far so good i mean i think people always underestimate brazil a bit uh I don't really know why, but like esports are incredibly popular in Brazil, and we've talked about this previously. But they're also televised, which I know everyone's always like, "Why do you have to have it on television? This is esports," which actually I somewhat agree with. However, um, this also just is a good good indicator of just how popular and how like widely accepted uh, esports are in Brazil, and the fact that people who don't play them will just watch them. Um, additionally, Brazil has a remarkable history in CS, uh, even outside of like the more recent, the more recent CS players and teams that we kind of talk about over the past, like five to 10 years. Um, they have a history in CS source, uh, a lot of Brazilian league, like, uh, the first kind of wave of Brazilian league of legends players came from CS. Um, so, you know, like I think. This game is going to be massive in Brazil, and I know a lot of people like to dunk on Brazil for whatever reason, or a lot of League of Legends fans do, I guess, just because their League of Legends teams aren't aren't particularly great, um, and they have a lot of like infrastructure problems that will kind of keep them region locked. But I don't see the same thing happening with Valorant, and I do think that there is a very real chance that we will see some incredibly good Brazilian Valorant teams. I just want to say, coronavirus, please go away so I can go to Brazil in November to watch some Counter-Strike. Thank you. I saw my visa. I can go in for the next eight years. I'm set. If, actually, on, on the topic of Brazil, I actually think if a Tier 1 player in Counter-Strike would switch over, I'm not saying it is happening or there's even rumors of happening, but I could definitely see like a like a top Brazilian player because it seem, does seem like Brazil is going all in on Valorant. Like right now, the top three Valorant streams are all Brazilian. And the Brazilian teams right now aren't doing the greatest in Counter Strike. So, what would, what would happen, Jacob? Let's just hype. Like, again, there's no rumors of this. There's no, I'm, I'm telling you this right now. So I, remove, I, remove, spitballing. Remove, remove, do remove, not remove, just remove just spitball. Jacob, <laughs> we're ready to clip this. No. Uh, okay. Tyler's hey, waiting hey, for Hey, I will I will, I will I will do I will do the thing that I always do in these moments. Guys, <laughs> ag aggregators. This is not Jacob Wolf reports. This is Jacob Wolf talks hypotheticals. hypotheticals. Please do not aggregate what I say because this is a hypothetical. What? So, in a world let's say, let's say a cold zera or a fall. Let's remove Cold Zero from this equation because he's actually on a on a uh, like an international oh, yeah, team, yeah, yeah, right? right? right let's he's say, let's like say, let's talk about somebody from like Furia or well, MIBR or like someone, a fall in. In. or like a Hen One, Henny, like Henny, Lucas, the in the chat. In the chat, uh, Zoref says this is already on Twitter, Reddit, and HLTV. Continue. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> let's, say, let's say one of those players or teams, just like as you know. In South Korea and China, or not China, Japan, the, the best J Japanese Counter-Strike team and the best South Korean Counter-Strike team have already gone to Valorant. What happens if a Fallen says, I'm going to go create a Valorant Brazilian team? What would you think would happen then, Jacob? How big of a move would that be if a Tier 1 Brazilian player... I mean, they have, they have other... So I actually don't see it far-fetched that maybe not he, he himself transitions yeah. to Valorant, but like... Fallen is involved in like Gamers Club and a bunch of these like yeah. which is now owned by Immortals, right? Like he's involved in a lot of these. He has like uh Team Yeah, I believe, which is like another Brazilian team that him and like a bunch of FNX and some of their other teammates are invested in, if I'm not mistaken, uh like a, a tier tier 2, tier 3 ca or Brazilian Counter-Strike team. There's not like it's not far fetched for me that like all these things that Fallen is involved in Right, like it sort of outside of his MIBR playing career, like that those things could get involved in Valorant, and like he has been the one player that like everyone looks to in FPS games, particularly in Counter Strike in Brazil. Right, like young players, he's finding people. If you remember, actually, what is now mostly Furia, uh, but what was originally what became Tempo Storm and then Immortals, etc. That team came because Fallen did a tournament 
in which the winner, he would help pay for their visas and their accommodations to come to the U.S., and then they were signed by Tempo Storm. So, like, I wouldn't... I don't think it's far-fetched to see, like, Fallen give back to the Valorant Brazilian community, right? Like, even if he doesn't make the switch himself. But I think that, like, to Emily's point, this is a country that's very prideful about their their FPS comp- competition, not even just in Counter-Strike, but across the board, right? So I think that, like, we will certainly see uh, Brazilian pride uh, exude from Valorant as more competitions continue also. Brazil is a very proud country in general for their, for any sport or competition. Please Soccer, come to MMA. Brazil. Oh yeah, Brazil I, I, is, is passionate. Brazil is so fun. I have a question Enjoy. for I have a question for the the room. I kind of let's we'll just, end on this, but yeah, go yeah, ahead. I, I wanna let's make a prediction right now. We can look back on this in a year. You know, episode what like forty nine of whatever this show is gonna be called. A year from now, what region will be stronger in Valorant? South Korea or Brazil? Who will be better? Woo! Make South Korea. Best. South Korea. I think South Korea. I'm going South Korea. I'm also going South Korea because yeah, I'm going to say South. I'm going to say Brazil's going to be competitive. I think they're going to be as competitive, if not more competitive, than they are in Counter Strike. But so, I think South Korea is going to be the Emily. I want to hear what you have. to say. I know I always do like these weird, like shifting the goalpost things and these arguments because I try to find like loopholes. Like when I made myself a Chinese scion who owned billions of dollars. Um, but what like. In terms of success, I'd say who, which region is going to be better. You'd have to go South Korea, simply actually based on infrastructure. Like, as someone who's covered CB Law since 2014, which is the Brazilian League of Legends uh, tournament, I like there are so many actual physical internet in- infrastructure issues um, that are part and parcel of a lot of Brazil's problems. And if you think yep. about even the best Brazilian teams, like what did Fallen's initial roster have to do? Like that, that Kaboom Cade roster, they stayed in Aspen and streamed just for money to qualify for the Cologne qualifier. And that's kind of where I first started hearing about that CS team. Right. And, um, you need a way to get out of Brazil eventually just because of the infrastructure issues. So while I think, again, depending on the out over like the the outlook of Valorant Esports, since it seems like it's going to be a lot more open and less region locked, I can see a Brazilian team easily being one of, if not the best Valorant teams in the world. However, mm-hmm. as a region, I think South Korea is always going to be stronger because their internet infrastructure and their their PC like their PC bond culture in general is just so you know, built in for people to immediately be able to play uh, PC games on incredibly high speed internet with very little money. There's, there's two things that need to happen here. I agree with Emily. The first is coronavirus is settling down in South Korea, which means that PC bonks will be open, uh, which means when this game comes out in the summer, uh, it will be high played. Um, And then also uh, Valorant needs to take over PUBG. In South Korea. PUBG is still the most dominant shooting game mm-hmm. in all of South Korea. Um, it's, I mean, Blue Hole is a South Korean company. I've been to their office. It's, like, obviously they're very plugged in when they can just walk out the door and walk down the street to a PC bong and, like, start polling players and sort of being hands-on there in a way that many other companies cannot. Um, so I, th- I think South Korea. I think that Brazil, Brazil is actually quite... Uh, like if any of those top Counter Strike players or even like tier two Counter Strike players make the switch, they will instantly probably be much better than players from South Korea because South Korea doesn't have very good teams in Counter Strike. Like MVP made the switch, right? But they're not great. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like it, it, I, I think that that Valorant will be a much bigger deal in in South Korea because Riot is a much bigger deal in South Korea than say Valve and Counter Strike. So I would give the edge to South Korea as a region. Although I think in the short term, Brazil will be better. Do you think, to follow up on that, based on how seriously the PUBG pros took our tournament and how they are in general, do you think that we can extrapolate that to the general population such that PUBG fans in South Korea will in fact gravitate to Valorant? Maybe. I will say the one thing that PUBG has going for it in Asia uh, is that it is really good on mobile. Um, and so people like to play it on their commutes 
and because unlike the New York subway, which I've had to deal with the past two years, you actually have an internet connection. <laughs> you have the internet connection when you uh, ride in a train in, a- in China or South Korea. Um, so you can continue to play while you are on the train. Hey. Um, PUBG, Mobile, po- PUBG Mobile is uh, actually a huge deal. It's part of the reason people are so engaged even in the PC bong. Um, so that is the one thing that they have going for them. Uh, but I certainly wouldn't be surprised to see top South Korean PUBG pros try to make the switch.